Local first responders dealing with an emergency of a different kind when they say that a man showed up to a fire station with intentions to steal. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juwan Strader. And I'm Jackie Nesbrill. A man climbs onto a fire truck and nearly peels out. NBC6 reporter Ryan Elson is live in Lauder Hill tonight with the details. Ryan. Well, Jawan, the fire department says these trunks are not easy to drive, but they say this man somehow figured it out and it was caught on camera. Heart pounding moments for Lauder Hill Fire Rescue caught on camera Tuesday night. A man trying to force his way into the driver's seat of an ambulance seen climbing into the truck through the driver's side window, turning on the lights, putting the truck in reverse before he's wrestled out by first responders. And they saw a male frantically running across the street. Uh, the male then scaled the fence that goes into the backyard of this firehouse. Assistant Chief Jeff Levy says the man randomly showed up at the firehouse just before 9 Tuesday night. He says crew members confronted him in case he needed help, but he became aggressive, seen here pacing and making gestures. Seconds later, he jumps onto the truck and tries to open the driver's side door, the driver struggling from the inside to keep the door closed. That's when the man climbs in through the window and jumps into the driver's seat. With police on the way, Levy says crew members got out and decided to leave him inside to calm down. Uh, the tables turned. The uh, gentleman that was in the truck figured out how to put it in gear. The truck in motion with lights flashing. Crew members then seen sprinting back to the truck and jumping into the moving ambulance. The truck making an abrupt stop before crew members struggle to pull the man from the driver's seat. Seconds later, the man is on the ground. About five minutes after driving the ambulance, Lauder Hill police are on scene putting the man in handcuffs. Investigators identify him as 31-year-old Freddie Joseph Ross, seen here in a previous mugshot after a November arrest for burglary and criminal mischief. And no one was hurt in this case. The truck is fine. And Lauder Hill police tell us tonight they'll be providing more information in this case tomorrow. Ryan Nelson, NBC6 News.